the quintessential side dish for Thanksgiving dinner and of course something that you can eat all year long. Here we've got typical Idaho russet potato and a typical Yukon gold potato. I use 50-50 in my mashed potatoes for two reasons. The russet is a real mealy, starchy, lends a lot of airiness to mashed potatoes. The Yukon Gold is a firmer fleshed and sort of smoother um, part of the mashed potato mix, but it also has that wonderful buttery flavor. One and a half, two inch chunks of both. You may peel them if you like. You don't have to. Sometimes I half peel my potatoes so that there's some peels left in. So if you want to do a work ahead of time, you don't want your potatoes to get oxidized or start to gray or brown. Just soak them in water. You can do this overnight, in fact. After they're done, it takes, uh, as I said, not too terribly long. You want a, a knife blade to go through the potato. You don't want them to break, start breaking down, but you um, drain them in a colander and then put them back on the flame so that you get the moisture out of the potato pan at that point, because you're going to be adding back into the potato mash when you mash them things like butter and cream or hot milk or sometimes olive oil, which are liquids, and they're gonna re-liquefy the mashed potatoes. So you don't want any water getting in the way and it's important that you steam them dry. Now it's time to mash. Do the monster mash. With the monster amount of potatoes. Um, and then mash them. You can mash them uh, with a hand masher or a potato ricer. Don't put them in a food processor and don't mash them too much because as you start to mash them too much, you start to glutenize them and make them gooey and sticky. And you don't want that with mashed potatoes. You want a little bit of, of fluffiness left in. Always heat milk or cream before adding it to your mashed potatoes because why would you want to cool down a hot dish with cold milk from the refrigerator? It's real easy just to preheat it. Plus, you get to melt the butter that way. So I like mine a little lumpy. Look how pretty lightly yellow they are from the Yukon Gold. Salt and pepper, lots of salt, just for flavor to bring it out, and um, pepper. You can use white pepper if you like, so it doesn't show up. But I like the pretty little flecks. So, that's just a basic primer on mashed potatoes, simple stuff. But boy, are they good.